hasn't been an easy one. But more school students wrapped up their school year today. And for high school seniors, it doubles as prom night at the governor's mansion. Julie Friendak is, you know, reliving her high school years tonight. I think we all are a little bit talking mm -hmm. all about prom and how the district got here, Julie. Yeah, Tessa, prom in particular here was actually an ask and you shall receive situation. The Moore School Superintendent recently met Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham at the Penasco Evacuation Center. He mentioned they had nowhere to host prom. One thing led to another, and now a record number of students are celebrating senior year at the governor's mansion. Very challenging to say the least. According to Principal Lafonso Castillo, that describes the Mora class of 2022's high school careers in a nutshell. Between two years of virtual learning, COVID scares, and a historic start to this wildfire season. I feel that they were robbed of their high school. They lost 50 days just this year to virtual learning and the Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak Fire. I remember that we had to evacuate. Uh, we're at our house, fires coming over the mountain, and you could just see cars taking off. So I think, you know, it is a, a catastrophe. The students um, will, will have to bounce back. He's thankful they still have school buildings where they can start that healing process. The fire got within a quarter mile of the district's campus. It's just an awful feeling. <laughs> you're, you're always looking over your shoulder. When's the next spark going to come? But, you know, I'm, I'm just... Uh, Proud of our community for pulling together during this time of need. Castillo says donations came in by the truckloads. Volunteers didn't hesitate to stay at school to hand out meals and supplies to families. Other area schools donated athletic equipment so more as student athletes could still participate over the past few weeks. And the governor providing a space for seniors to fulfill their high school rite of passage. This is the biggest prom that we've ever, the most participation that we will have for any prom. 110 participants, far surpassing last year's record 80 students. A night that serves as a sign for better days to come. We're there for the community and we want to bounce back. Because there are still some sad realities in Mora tonight. Principal Castillo says three district staff members and at least a few students lost their homes to the fire. Some students and staff live in Chacon, a town that's still evacuated right now. And Mora is still on set status, so they could have to leave again at any time. Tessa. Just good to see such big smiles yeah. on, on the kids. Beautiful. Girls look great. Guys look good, too. Mm -hmm. Julie, thanks.